the fall of America, the biggest alien sighting in human history, and the election getting overturned. All of this on today's most amazing top 10 list. Coming in at number 10, we have the collapse of America. I mean, things have been a little dicey in the States for a little while now. It seems like tensions are high, but maybe it's just the media selling inflammatory headlines so they can get more clicks. It's weird to think that the news has turned into clickbait, but no matter which one of those statements is true, it would seem that Reddit thinks America would be on its way out in 2021. Reddit user Red Handrail asked what people thought would come of America in 2021, and there were a lot of theories as to what would go down. Some people were leaning towards the idea that tensions would build until there was a civil war, and the two sides would be at each other's throats. Other users were suggesting that the economy and job market wouldn't recover, and there would be millions of Americans out of work with no jobs. With no sign of a stimulus coming, this could be a permanent situation for a lot of people. To be fair, we have no idea who these people are who are making these predictions, but for whatever reason, they all seem to skew very dark. Coming in at number nine, we have the vaccine won't stop the virus. Most of us were jumping for joy when we heard that there's going to be a vaccine on the horizon. It meant things are going to be returning back to normal pretty soon, or at least that's what we hope will be happening. But there are some people in the Reddit verse that think this vaccine won't be the answer to our prayers that so many people have been asking for. Reddit user Jinja Ninja made a very concise post about how the vaccine could have very little effect on the virus. His points were that the COVID-19 virus has already mutated a few times since we've had our original outbreak. So if it mutates after the vaccine is distributed, then there could be a chance that the virus will mutate again and will be immune to the vaccine. So this could put us all into a state where we need to go back inside to avoid getting sick. There's also the fact that even before we had this vaccine, some people caught the coronavirus more than once. So unless the vaccine gives a person total immunity, then we could catch the virus again. And once again, we would be going back into quarantine. Also, it seems like a large portion of the population is not going to get the vaccine because they don't trust it. And that will cut down on any hope of having herd immunity. And guys, make sure you hit that like button because it really helps us out. Coming in at number eight, we have rocks from space. Reddit user Little Thoth says that we're doomed and it's going to come from the stars. They say said that four separate comets or asteroids are going to fly in from space and crash into the planet. But they aren't just going to land anywhere. These big boys are going to crash into the Atlantic Ocean. At first, I thought this would be good because we don't have to worry about them crashing into any landmass and destroying us. But think again. These rocks of death from space, working title, will cause a massive chain of tsunamis that will smash into both the states and Europe. This will be devastating to both land masses and all of the small islands in between these two places will be completely wiped out. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed that space continues to stay quiet and doesn't send us any death from above. Coming in at number seven, we have Space Party. Reddit user Pignaro not suggested another thing coming from the stars, but something that will leave less of a mark physically and more of a mark emotionally. They said that on New Year's Eve, there will be a mass UFO sighting, something that is so big, it's impossible for humans to deny that aliens exist and for the government to cover it up. That would be a wild way to start the year. And I would like an event like this because it would get everyone on the same page about aliens. Now, what would this do to the world? I have no idea. And our buddy from Reddit doesn't go into that. Some people commenting on the post are talking about how they've recently seen UFOs. So perhaps the aliens are gearing up for a big show. I would like to see how everyone would react to something like this because I think a bunch of people would just quit their jobs and dedicate their lives to praying to the sky people. I mean, what's the point of going to work when you know there's a super advanced race of alien people out in the stars and they like to come visit us sometimes. Coming in at number six, we have Trump moves to Russia. What happens to Trump when he's no longer in office? Well, Reddit user friendly neighbor who has a couple ideas. This person suggests that Trump might move to Russia. That would turn the world upside down. This Reddit user says that Putin will make him a deal, an offer he can't refuse. He would offer him salvation from all his haters, safety from all the people who might be going after him, and a place where he could keep doing business in exchange for American 
government secrets. This would be an HBO style twist that would rock the world. Could you imagine a former American president who left the country to go live in a country that was one of the sworn competitors since before any of us were born? That would be one of the biggest betrayals that we have ever been alive for. Even though this is just a theory, there is some weight to this. Some people think that Trump has been in bed with Russia since the beginning. Also, for as many people as there are who love Trump, there's just as many people who hate him and now Russia could be the place where he could go to have salvation from possible threats. Russia might be a safe bet. Coming at number 5 we have 2012 finally happens. We all thought the world was going to end in 2012. Everyone was running for cover. Some people were convinced that civilization was going to collapse and people were so scared. It's funny because now there's something that is actually threatening our health and it seems that people don't care at all. Everyone just wants to go hang out on a patio. But what if the horrors that were going to happen in 2012 actually show up to the party in 2021? We have fire spewing out of volcanoes, the sky being covered in ash, forest fires everywhere that spread all over the globe, sea levels rise and you have mass flooding everywhere. The moon crashes into the earth. Now I don't know if that was one of the predictions for 2012, but while we're getting into it, let's get creative. Also if you switch the 12 around, it becomes 21. So if the person who wrote down the date was dyslexic, they might have made this little mistake. Coming in at number 4 we have the Trump News Network. This has been something that has been thrown all over Reddit and frankly all over the internet. Some people love the idea of this. Some people think it would be the worst thing that could happen to the media, but even Trump himself has suggested that this is the next move. Well he has been the king of saying the expression fake news. He's the one who turned it into a mainstream expression. Now everyone is screaming out fake news at every news network that's putting out any sort of content. It doesn't matter if you lean more left or more right. So Trump starting his own brand of news would be right up his alley. It would seem very strange having a former president start a news network where he could potentially influence future elections. Also, I don't know if Trump is going to want to be in the public image for a little while. You would think he would be tired by now, dude. One term as president in one of the most hectic times in modern history probably takes a lot out of you. And I've heard his theory that he thinks the human body is like a battery and only has so much charge. He probably needs to lay down for a little while. Coming in at number 3 we have the election gets overturned. Reddit user Uber Rob made a Babe Ruth call and said that Trump is going to take his suggestion of voter fraud to the Supreme Court and he's going to get his way. This poster even says that they didn't vote for Trump but they think that this outcome is going to flow into Trump's hands. Basically they say that Trump will be successful in taking his case to the Supreme Court and the court will vote in his favor. Now what does this mean for everything after? After this, well, this Reddit user doesn't say those details. How are you going to leave us in the dark on the juiciest parts? Like, does this mean we have a second election for who the president is, or do they just give the win to Trump? Do we have to have a UFC style battle where everyone tunes in on pay per view to see who the next president is? That's honestly the outcome that I think is best. Presidential knockout live on pay per view. Coming in at number two, we have war with the aliens. Reddit user Cosmic Lightning said that they had a nice little meditation. And during this time that should have been peaceful, they had a vision. They saw the sky covered in ash, humanoid creatures coming down from the clouds, a massive explosion, and fields of lost souls. To be honest, it doesn't sound like a great time. I would prefer not to dream of a battle with an alien race. They aren't sure if this vision will hold up, but apparently this dark sighting is supposed to kick off in November and move into January. So we just need to make it into the new year without any signs of a massive war with an alien race, and we should should be in the clear. Also, I can't think of anything worse than trying to relax through a peaceful meditation to calm your soul and then you see the extinction of the human race. That would make it really hard to relax ever again. I've never heard of meditation working in reverse. That sounds like a terrible time. And coming at the number one spot we have Trump flees the US or steps down as president. I've never seen a president quit since I've been alive but there are a ton of people online who think that this could be the outcome for the president. It's a well known fact that there are a lot of people who want to prosecute Trump for crimes. They already tried to impeach him while he was president, so while he's not in power, he might be a sitting duck. To avoid the onslaught of criminal charges that would be thrown at him, he might try to run to another country, or some people say he could step down from his presidency and have Mike Pence step in as president and pardon him for anything he would be charged of. A very sneaky move. Alright guys, that has been our video. I've been your host Jade Arena, and until next time, keep enjoying this content. His points were that the COVID-19 virus has already mutated a few times since we've had our blah. since we've had our since we've had our 
His points were that the COVID-19 virus has already mutated a few times since we've had the original. Blah. 